Today's lesson is um, using the quadratic formula and finding the discriminant. Um, the quadratic formula can be used to find any, um, to solve for any quadratic equation. Um, the quadratic formula is a negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. But what you have to keep in mind is this a, b, and c comes from the original equation of ax squared plus bx plus c equaling zero. So when we have our quadratic equation, we can solve it any time using the quadratic formula. And so what I'm going to do is give you um, an equation that's going to have two real solutions. So it is x squared minus 5x equals 4. The first thing you have to do is go ahead and put your equation into the standard form. And so this has to be rewritten as x squared minus 5x. And right now we have a positive 4, but when we move it to the other side of the equal sign, it becomes a negative 4 equals 0. Now that it is in standard form, we can look and see that it matches ax squared plus bx plus c. And so I can say, again, my x squared means an understood 1 times x squared. So I can say that my a is 1, my b is a negative 5, and my c is a negative 4. From here, I plug it into the equation, the quadratic, sorry, the formula. And so I have a negative, negative 5 plus or minus the square root of a negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times a negative 4. All of this over 2 times 1. At this point, we want to begin to start solving. We know a minus and negative becomes a positive, so I can say that ends up being a 5 plus or minus, and then inside our radical sign, we have a negative 5 squared gives us a positive 25 because a negative 5 times a negative 5 is 25, and then we have a negative 4 times 1 gives me a negative 4, and then a negative 4 times a negative 4 gives me a positive 16. And that is over 2 times 1, which is 2. From here, we want to go ahead and we want to add 25 and 16. So I have 5 plus or minus. 25 plus 16 gives me 41 over 2. At this point, you want to write it into two different answers. So I want to go ahead and say 5 plus the square root of 41 over 2 and 5 minus the square root of 41 over 2. If you choose to, depending on your teacher and the class and even the directions, if they do not want it in radical form, you can go ahead and um, make this a decimal. If I put this into my calculator, the square root of 41, um, and then I add that to 5 and divide by 2, it gives me um, 5.7. If I do the same thing, 5 minus the square root of 41, I find that, and then I divide by 2, it gives me a negative Seven. And so that, uh, this right here, the 5.7 and a negative 0.7 are the two answers to x squared minus 5x equals 4. The next concept we want to look at is solving um, using the quadratic formula, but this time we're going to be solving for one real solution. 
So the equation that I'm given is 4x squared plus 10x equals a negative 10x minus 25. The first thing we want to do is put it into standard form. So that means everything is on one side of the equal sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add 10x and add 10x because that cancels out the x on the um, right hand side. And so I've got now 4x squared plus 20x equals a negative 25. But again, I need this over too, so I'm going to add 25. And um, I'm going to add 25. And so it gives us 4x squared plus 20x plus 25 equals 0. From here, I know that this is my A this is my B and this is my C because the original formula for quadratics in standard form is AX squared plus BX plus C. So I have AX squared plus BX plus C. So I can use the quadratic formula. Remember that the quadratic formula is a negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 a, C, all over 2 times A. And so I'm looking at my A, B, and C, and so I will write those into the equation. So I have a negative 20 plus or minus the square root of 20 squared minus 4 times 4 times 25, all over 2 times 4. Again, we want to go ahead and begin solving. And so I can go ahead and keep my negative 20 plus or minus 20 squared is 400. And then if I do um, 4 times 25 gives me 100 times 4 gives me a, um, 100 and it's minus 400 because it showed a negative. All of that over 2 times 4, which is 8. Well, we can see that 400 minus 400 is 0. And so that's going to cancel out our square root. So what we have left is a negative 20 over 8, which gives us, when we reduce down, we have a negative 5 over 2. And that is our one real solution for 4x squared plus 10x equals a negative 10x minus 25. The third concept we're going to look at today is solving with imaginary solutions. Remember, with imaginaries, you're going to see a, a form of i. And so my equation is x squared minus 6x equals a negative 10. Again, we want it in standard form and standard form shows us AX squared plus BX plus C. And so I'm going to move my negative 10 over to the other side of the equal sign. And doing that means that we have to add 10 to cancel it out. And so I'm going to say X squared minus 6X plus 10 equals my 0. At this point, I can see that my A is the understood 1. My B is a negative 6, and my C equals 10. From here, I want to put it into the quadratic formula, which is a negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And so now I can see my A, B, and C. So I want to say a negative, negative 6 plus or minus the square root of a negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10. Again, all I did was um, go ahead and replace my A, B, and C with my A, B, and C over here. And keep in mind, we have our denominator, which is 2 times 1. We want to begin to solve. A minus a negative 6 becomes a positive 6, plus or minus, a negative 6 squared gives me 36. 
And then a negative 4 times 1 is a negative 4, and then times 10 is a negative 40, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. 36 minus 40 gives us a negative 4, so I can say 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 2. But I remember that I can't have a negative inside the radical sign. And so I've got to rewrite that. And I'm going to rewrite it showing my i. So I have 6 plus or minus i square root 4 over 2. The next thing I want to do is see that square root of 4 gives me 2. And so I can now say 6 plus or minus 2i over 2. And at this point, you want to go ahead and divide it out because with imaginary answers, the complex um, answers, you want a plus bi. And so I want to rewrite this as 6 over 2 plus or minus 2i over 2 which when reduced down, we can say 3 um, plus or minus 1i. And we have to remember that 3 plus or minus 1i is the same as saying 3 plus 1i and 3 minus 1i. And there are my imaginary solutions to x squared minus 6x equals a negative 10. The last concept we want to talk about today is using the discriminant. With the discriminant, we can find how many answers and what kind of answers we will have. The discriminant is the, um, what is underneath the radical sign in the quadratic formula, which is b squared minus 4ac. There are three rules, and the first rule is b squared minus 4ac, um, when it's greater than 0, that will give you 2, your answer is 2 real solutions. When b squared minus 4ac equals 0, you have 1 real solution. And when you have b squared minus 4 AC is less than zero, you have two imaginary solutions. So if you can use the discriminant, it will help you to know which type of answer you're looking for. We just showed you how to solve for two real, one real, and two imaginaries. But what we're going to do now is show you how to use the discriminant to find what type and then from there solve. And so I have my first example is x squared plus 6x plus 11 equals 0. So if I want to use the discriminant, so I'll put discriminant, I'm going to say my b squared is 6, because again, I've got x squared plus 6x plus 11. So my b is 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 11. So 6 squared gives me 36, and then 4 times 11 gives me 44. So 36 minus 44 gives me a negative 8. From here, I can look up and I see that when I use the discriminant and it is less than zero, I'm going to have two imaginary solutions. So I can say um, two imaginary solutions. And from here, we can even solve because we've already found what's inside the radical sign. So if we wanted to completely solve it, we can think back to the negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. We found what the b squared minus 4ac is. It's negative 8. 
And so I can go ahead because my V is 6. So I can say a negative 6 plus or minus the square root of a negative 8 over 2. We know we can't have a negative inside the radical sign, so we can rewrite as a negative 6 plus or minus um, I square root 8 over 2. And I know that 8 is 4 times 2, and so again I can say negative 6 plus or minus 2I or 2 square root 2I over 2. And you can rewrite that as a negative 3 because a negative 6 divided by 2 and then plus 2 divided by 2 gives us 1 square root 2 i and again a negative 6 divided by 2 is a negative 3 and then this time it's minus 2 divided by 2 is 1 square root 2 i. So here are your two imaginary solutions. So now we have shown you how to use the discriminant to find the two imaginary. I'm going to go example two. I have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. So my discriminant is going to be 6, because that's my b, 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9. 6 squared gives us 36, and then 4 times 9 gives us 36. So 36 minus 36 gives me an answer of 0. So I can look up here, and when b squared minus 4ac equals 0, we have 1 real. So I can say my answer is going to be 1 real. And I can solve it by, again, I'm using this formula, and I have my b is 6, so a negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 0 all over 2, which will give us my one real answer is going to be a negative 3. And then our last example is x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. So again, using the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, I'm going to say 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5. Again, 6 squared is 36. A negative 4 times 1 is a negative 4 times 5 is a negative 20. So 36 minus 20 gives us 16. Because it is a positive 16, it's greater than 0. So I'm going to have 2 real. Again, I can put it into the quadratic formula. And I can say a negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 16 equals 2. Because the discriminant is the whole um, equation that's underneath the radical. So I now have the square root of 16 gives me 4. So I have a negative 6 plus or minus 4 over 2. So for my 2 real, I can say, okay, well, a negative 6 plus 4 gives me a negative 2. And divide that by 2 gives me a negative 1. And then a negative 6 uh, minus 4 gives me a negative 10 divided by 2 gives me a negative 5. And so I'll write over here what I just did, negative 6 minus 4 divided by 2 and a negative 6 plus 4 divided by 2. And so our two real answers are a negative 1, negative 5. And so we just solved three different discriminants by um, using the discriminant to let us know what type of answers we're going to look at. And then from there, we find our actual answers, our two imaginaries, our one real, and then our two real.